everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to make a tiny video for you I wanted to make this goldfish and I have been wanting to do it for a very long time so um, let us turn around to the table and get to it so here we are by the table and I rolled out some orange clay in the thinnest setting on my pasta machine I took a tiny piece of orange clay, first I rolled it into a ball and then I am going to make a edge on one end so it's kind of a teardrop shape. I am placing that on my um, knife blade here because this way I can handle the little fish even better and when it is uh, done you don't even see the little uh, line in the bottom where it has been connected to the um, knife blade here. This here is a very old tool that I have had lying around and the texture on the grip is perfect for things like this. You might have an exacto knife that has something like that on the grip. Just use that, it is perfect for the scales. Here I just marked out where I wanted the small eyes on the goldfish and I am cutting out some really really tiny pieces of my black clay and I'm rolling that into a tiny ball that I can place in the eye socket that I just made and I'm of course making one of each side of my goldfish. I make the line here on each side of the head for the, um, what's that called, where they breathe um, and that kind of defines what's the head and what's the body of the goldfish. Now I am going to work on the side fins for this little goldfish. So I am kind of uh, cutting out two triangular shapes and I am going to give them a tiny bit of a um, few lines on there to mark that they are fins on the fish. I make my goldfish here a tiny bit bigger than I really wanted to do it but it's really hard to show something that is this small. So I made it a tiny bit bigger so it was easier for you to see. I hope this um I hope this worked out for you guys. But here I am placing the little fins. I make another tiny triangular shape and I am using that for the top fin. Again, I'm giving them a few lines um, and then I am placing that on top of the little goldfish here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Now for the tail of my fish, I cut a uh, line down in my clay so I had a straight line to start from. Then I made this cone shape and now I'm making this kind of M shape or wavy shape at the top here. And again, I am using my needle tool to make some few lines in there to make it look really um, fish tailish. Thank you. 
and now I really carefully place my tail on my fish here and I'm gonna take my time with this and as you can see it can be a bit tedious to do so take your time with this and make sure it is sitting really well onto the little fish body I'm using a tiny bit of my Vallejo glaze and I mix that together with a tiny bit of a gold reddish um, pearlex and I'm mixing that on my paint palette here then I am taking that and paint that all over the body of the little fish Make sure you mix the two parts really good together, this way you will get a more even coat on your little fish. Then when it's dry all you do is take it off the knife blade and there you have a cute little goldfish. Thank you for watching, I know this video was kind of small, it was a tiny tiny goldfish. Uh, you can use the goldfish for decorations in your dollhouse. Or you could put it into a aquarium of some kind. Um, I'm not sure I have a video about that anymore. So if you want to see me make a goldfish in an aquarium, then please let me know and I will see what I can do. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching my videos and happy crafting.